Yo, what's happening guys? It's Flo, and I'm here with Sly, and today we're going to talk about the second former NBA player saying that LaMelo Ball might end up on the Los Angeles Lakers. So this time around, it was T-Max saying that LaMelo Ball has Lakers written all over him. Who's going to be the face of the NBA in the next 10 years? I'm going to give you Ja, Luka, Trey Young, LaMelo Ball. I think it'll be between LaMelo Ball and Ja. If if LaMelo Ball can get to La La Land, because I think he's built for that. Yes. Like, he has that personality, that moxie, like, he's built for that. I, I think he can be that face. But Ja Morant, if he continues to do what he's doing right now in Memphis, he also can 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 be that face. So, Sly, what do you think about this? He does, man. Like, honestly, when you see him play, the way he just goes up and down the court, he just reminds you of magic, you know, but a faster magic, you know, just because he's so good at freaking just getting that ball and poof, taking off, you know. Honestly, it's going to be a little while just because, you know, he's under contract for a little bit. But, man, obviously, this guy wants to come back home, you know. He grew up a Laker fan, lived in the area. Uh, it's going to happen one day. I know it's going to happen, but... How long? I don't know. But like I said, he fits that Showtime Lakers 100%, man. Yeah, it's kind of funny how all these former players are just correlating his game towards being a fit for Los the Los Angeles Lakers. And I'm not sure if just because they're historians of the game and they're just like, he belongs there kind of thingy. Or just the fact that Charlotte is just such a small market to contain a superstar like LaMelo Ball. Mm -hmm. Like, how long can they realistically expect him to be there and not have the lights on him? Because that kid... He's special, man. I think he's someone who deserves to have that kind of like constant recognition because I don't know, he just he's just magnetic, you know? He's mm -hmm. just the way he plays, the way he carries himself outside of the court. Like, he's a little bit of goofball, but other than that, man, I think that kid is showtime. Yeah, no, honestly, like we grew up watching him, you know, like the ball and the family and all that. So, I mean, it's kind of cool, you know, seeing what he's doing right now, like just pretty much just playing awesome, you know, just dominating. The way he's able to freaking just go on those fast breaks, man, and make it look easy and make it look fun, man. So, obviously, Lakers, we do want him. We're interested in him. But, you know, it's going to be a while. Hopefully, I don't know, he might sign this max with the Charlotte in a few years. But if he wants to come home quick, just come back, baby. Come back and you'll get those endorsements. You'll be like basically Anthony Davis. Basically, you know, he comes here. He gets those big old endorsements. So, he can make it up on that end as a sponsor. So, he fits that Laker profile, man. He really is. He is Showtime. So I'm excited, man. I'm excited for what he's doing. Yeah, man. And then obviously any California kids dream, especially playing basketball, is to play for a Los Angeles Lakers, especially if you grew up in SoCal, which LaMelo Ball did. Um, yeah, it's just like a lifelong dream coming true. And he has a chance to actually do it, you know? So I don't see why he wouldn't take the opportunity and just be a part of the purple and gold. It's just meant to be. Mm -hmm. It is, man. But let us know what you guys think if he fits that Lakers Showtime persona. And I don't know, we'll, we'll be with the Lakers one day. So let us know down below. Make sure to like this video, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.